Hello everyone. Uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to the class of reservoir simulation. And uh, we are working on the Eclipse data files, and we are checking how we can change the parameters in Eclipse Office reservoir simulation. We did the run spec section, we did the prop section and grid section, and now the we are going to deal with the schedule section. Schedule section here. So the first of all, uh, we will learn how to change the location of the well. This is the question number one that we can address that how we can change the location of the well. I write it here change the location of the well. So let's see how we can first I will show you the location where it is, then we will change it. So let's look at the location. The well location of the well is always defined by these two ones here which is in the well spec section in the well spec section these two are the one so the well production well is at 7 7 this is the production uh, well location now we go to the eclipse office and see where is the 7 7 and then we will change the position of it so the eclipse office and uh, we can look at the location of the well by going into the i will start a new project i will name it any Okay, and I will import the case first. I will import the case, and uh, we are dealing with SV file. All the sections will appear here. Okay, now I will go to the data grid section. Sorry, not PVT. Close it. Grid section. We go to the grid view. We run from the keywords, and now once we go to this. Uh, from 3D so it will appear sorry the laptop is a bit slow in processing but it will come up so here it is these are the our location of the well was at 7 7 ok well, we changed the the grid cells from 7 to 12 in the last one, but uh, you, actually there are 12 grids. So if I show you in 2D here, because this one is not working correctly, so I go grid section, grid view from go to the 2D here. It is. In 2D you can see that this is the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So one, two, one well is here. This is injection well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you look at the zoom, let me find the. The magnifier. Okay, we don't have it. So this one you can see here is the well here location. Now this is the 77. Now we want to change this well to let's say we want to change it to this one, this location. Now first we need to know what is the cell here, this one. What is the cell number? So what is the cell number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So x in x direction is 11. Now in y direction is 1, 2, so 11 x and y3 so we put this information in the uh, in the data file we run it again and we see that it is there or not so i close it for now to change the location to 11 3 so i close this one and uh, this is our data file so i want to change this location to 11 and 3 well, remember, the, it, we need to change not only in the well specs but in the well compute also because here also we encompt it also. Here is 11. Both side we have to change the and 3. This is, and let's check if there is any other place where it is mentioned. Oh, so these are the two places where we can change. So now I will save this file and import in the Eclipse Office again. 
to see that it worked or not. I'll go right and go to the data. Now our well location is appearing here. Okay, sorry, I was counting why from here, starting from here. actually start from the top. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Okay, so this is was our well location. So we will change it to ten because we go back. We change the location not to 3 but to 10. I close it. So now if I go back to my office, data grid grid view grid view and now actually we follow the so now you see location before it was here now it's here so if I put this one there's some problem in this 3D view so we couldn't see the exact cells but one is here the other one now is comes here but if you look at in 2D, it is very clear now that our well now is here. Is here. Before it was at 7, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So before well was here, 7, 7. Now our well is here. You see a small black dot. It shows you that the... Now this is the location. So we have this production well. Now for the injection well, we will see how what properties we can change the location of the injection well because this one we were talking about was production well. Now we want to talk about the injection well which is at one one. So we will look at it how we can change the location of the well one. So let's go back to the data file and see how we can play with it. We go back to originally to this is the form there. We change 11 10 location of welcome and come there. In the well specs, now we go for the injection well. Let's look at in the injection well. So we are defining the injection well. Well, here is the injection well. For the injection well, we have defined the well specs again. And we said that the location of the injection well is mentioned 1 1. So now we will change the location of the injection well to 7 7. 7 7. As I said, we have to change to com date and in both. Okay, now it's changed. We save it. And we go back to office. have to import the case again and go to the data grid we go for the grid view converts to PLS let's look at the 2D okay now you can see that that the injection well now comes here this small red dot shows in and production well we change the location of this one so that's how you can simply change the location of the well using the clip software it's that easy now the second thing we will learn now how to add more wells now it has one injection well and one production well now i want to add one more well okay and let's see how we can add more wells and how we can define the more wells 
So let's start with it. So I close this one because the job is done. Close this one here. So now we will add more well here. Let's add one more production well. Okay. Now in order to add the wells, we need three main points here, three main commands or keywords. One is the well spec. This is the well spec we need. And uh, second one is the comdat. Okay. And third one we need the wcon production. If you have these three, then you can add the well. Okay. And so we can let's see how we can add. So what I will do simply I will go copy this one remember we have to change the name before this name was p1 now we'll put p1 okay and location i want to change to 10 and 5 i mean x in 10 and y in 5 so as i said the name is now p1 so p1 must appear in com data also right now we are not touching the other property we are just putting so p1 so it was p1 we have to put the location which was 10 and 5 we added p1 but as i say com debt and uh, well specs two are good but we need to add one more which is wcon production so i will add wcon production here here again we have to put p1 because the well location here is p1 that's it our job is done but no our job is not done because now we have not two wells three wells if you run this one it will give you error and uh, so what we need to do now we have to go back to the run spec section in the well dimension we mentioned that we have two wells so now we change it to three okay now we save it and uh, we will try to run it and see if there is any error or not so the e305 it should not show any error but if it is so let's see. okay so now you see we don't have any error we successfully added one more well now let's look at in the grid block whether we have it or not so i go back to the office i will import the case Yes, import. We have the in the clips. We have SP5. Now, when we go to the data, we go to the grid. We go to the grid view. We turn from the grid file, and now uh, we look at the 2D. Now you see we have three wells: two production and one injection. Okay. Here is one production. We said this one: 10 and 5. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten five one two three four five so here is one here is one well this is the second well as discussed and this is the injection well that you see here so we have now three wells here so we successfully added the three wells here likewise you can definitely add more injection or production well here Okay, now likewise you can add more else where okay there are some more important things here uh, which maybe i will give you in, in an assignment for example the production rate change how you can change the production rate well here is the production rate in wcon production keyword here is the wcon so you just change the rate and see its effect on it okay you want to change the bottom hole pressure you can change the bottom hole pressure this one these two okay what type of well we have right now we talk about the oil well oil well so this is the oil so it should be gas well all right and this should be gas well and uh, the injection what you are injecting this is the stream of injection in this 177 percent is uh, c1 okay this is the injection solvent this is methane you are going to inject 77 percent this is the injection field for the injection pressure again you can uh, add this information here this is the stream of the gas so you are injecting at 12,000 
and then you are injecting the water so injection gas water and then cyclic here it is 365 days and now since we are doing the water alternating gas injection the most important one, okay is the cycle of the water and gas so 365 days water is injected 365 days so the gas is injected and uh, the simulation is going to run for 20 years for 365 days this is the total time step we are doing so these are the basic ones you can definitely play with the eclipse we just pre pre prepared the foundation for eclipse office and after you finish this we will go and uh, solve one case study and then I will give you a few case studies to go and solve it and of course this is going to be useful for your graduation projects to run it successfully. So have a nice day and see you in the next lecture.